Hey, what's up? Welcome to Upswing Baseball. Today, we're gonna talk about a core workout for baseball players. This is kind of specifically designed for baseball players, but in reality, anybody could use it to get that six pack. For baseball players though, a strong core is really important in all the parts of baseball, hitting, pitching, because the core helps you be explosive and hit dingers, throw 90, throw gas, and all of that. So today, I'm gonna walk you through a great core, work core workout that you can do. And there's gonna be two different workouts. So the first one's gonna be assuming you have access to a gym and all the great stuff that comes with that. And the second one's gonna be an at-home workout that you can do without any equipment. So if you don't have access to a gym, that'll be the one for you. And we'll do it like that. So let's just get right into it. Welcome to Upswing Baseball, where we give you tips and drills to improve your baseball skills. So subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna take your baseball skills to the next level. And let's just do this. And before we get into the workouts, I'm just gonna explain all the exercises that I'll talk about in this video real quick all together so we can just get that out of the way. And the first one is planks and side planks. As you can see, and you should know how to do these. Make sure you keep your back flat and keep your core tight. And actually on all of these, you should keep your core tight. So I'm gonna just say that now, so I don't repeat myself over and over. Keep your core tight on all of these. Just, yeah. And the next one is hollow rockers. And on this one, you want your legs and arms both locked out straight and just rock back and forth, keeping the same angle with your legs and arms. And the next one is flutter kicks. This one's pretty easy. Just kick kick your legs up and down as fast as you can. Then next up we got Russian twists. Uh, Russian twists have been known to cause a little bit of back problems. So be careful with them. Make sure you're doing them right. And don't do too many. The mountain, these workouts that I'm going to give you today should be okay for your back. But if it starts hurting, shut it down. Replace the Russian twist with something else. Just be careful with it. It's a really good workout for like your obliques, which is really important for baseball players. So it's really good to do, but it can cause back problems sometimes, so just be careful with it. And also when your back hurts, know the difference between like your back being sore and it actually hurting. Like if it's just a little sore, like push through it a little bit, but just know the difference between like when it's actual bad pain. And the next one I got is knee to chest crunches. I like to do these more than regular crunches because I just think it's better. I think it works your core better. And yeah, you start with your legs out at a 90 degree angle, bring them into your chest as far as you can, and slow is better on this one. Keep a slow pace, slow pace, slowly up, hold it, slowly down, back to that 90 degree angle, slow and controlled. And the next one we got is med ball slams. Explode is the biggest thing with everything with slam in the name. Med ball slams is no exception. Baseball is an explosive sport and this is one of the explosive movements in the weight room that will translate big time to on field stuff. And the type of med ball slam I have in this workout is on a knee. So you'll bring it up over the head and slam it to the side like that. And the next one is sledgehammer slams. I cannot do these right now because I don't have a sledgehammer or a giant tire to hit the sledgehammer on. But it goes, you know, you're square to your target, pretty square, a little bit open to the side you're swinging on. Bring it around all the way, extend, and then full out like that. Don't like do like a tiny one, go all the way around, all the way over your head, and boom, explode. Bring it down hard. Then the last exercise that will be part of these workouts is side raises with the dumbbell. For these, you have one knee forward and you'll start with the dumbbell to the side and slowly raise it up, slow and controlled, just like the other one. I can't remember what, which one it was. Keep the core engaged in this one and try to use more core than arms. All right, so now let's get into the workouts. First off, we're gonna do the one that you do in the gym if you have all the all that equipment and all that stuff. So for, for these workouts, it'll be three parts, divided into three parts. So for part one, it'll be a plank, 45 second plank, and then 10, sled, 10 sledgehammers on both sides and then do three rounds of that. And then you can rest, chill a little bit, and then get into part two, where you do side raises with the dumbbell slow, 10 of those, and then the med ball slams on one knee, 10 of those two, and then side plank for 30 seconds. And three rounds of that too, minimal rest, try to go through as fast as you can, and then you can chill, and then when you're ready to go, you can move on to part three. And in part three, the first one is hollow rockers, you'll do 15 of those, and then Russian twist, 15 each side, so 30 total, like one, two, three, four, so that'd be 30, or like one, two, up to 15, like that. And same thing with flutter kicks, 15 each side, 30 total, and three rounds of that too. And that is it for the gym ab workout. It's pretty tough, like I just like talked about it in like a minute, made it seem kind of easy, but it's really tough. You should go out and do it. It's really good for the, yeah, it'll really work, work your abs, it'll be burning, so yeah. Let's move on to the at-home ab workout. And in part one of this one, you start out with a one-minute plank, and then you do those knee-to-chest crunches, 20 of those, 
and do that for three rounds, no rest. Just like, it's pretty, pretty much the same format as the other one. Just go through the three rounds with minimal rest and then chill in between the different parts. But then for part two, you got Russian twist, 15 each side, 30 total, just like the other one. Careful the back, and then 30 sit-ups and a 30 second side plank three rounds all of that and after you rest moving on to part three we got flutter kicks 15 each side 30 total 15 hollow rockers and then uh 20 up down plank but yeah 20 of those and then three rounds of that whole part three just like everything else so i realize this might be kind of hard for some guys like if you're going like full out no rest like i said it's going to be pretty hard and it's supposed to be hard it's supposed to push you that's how you get stronger it's okay if it's hard you can do it if you don't think you can do it just just know your limits are a lot farther out there than you think like Usually when you think you're at that limit, you're only at like 40% of your overall like max capacity. So push as hard as you can, please. You will not regret it if you do. You will regret if you cut yourself short. But if you really, really, really need to lower things like it's impossible for you to get through it, you can where you need to. Just tweak, tweak it how you need to, that's okay. But yeah, that's all I got. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe if you are not already. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video or anything baseball in general, ask me down in the comments. And then down in the description, there are links to some cool baseball gear that you can pick up. And there'll be, but there'll be links to some of the gear that is needed in this video, like maybe like sledgehammers and different stuff like that, med balls. If, if you wanna pick any of that up and add it to your gym, at home gym. And there's also a link to the Upswing Baseball Instagram page, so check that out too. That's all I got. If you wanna see more of my videos, I got a playlist and a video down there if you wanna check those out. And yeah, I'll see you later.